Ever wondered what tech stack is used in machine learning? Well, you're not alone. Understanding the tech stack is like possessing the blueprint for building a skyscraper. It's the foundation of machine learning, an intricate blend of programming languages, libraries, frameworks, algorithms, and data. These components, working in harmony, create the magic we often attribute to machine learning. So, buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of machine learning tech stacks. The first component of the tech stack is the programming languages. Now you might be wondering, why are programming languages important in the realm of machine learning? Well, in the simplest terms, programming languages are the tools that enable us to instruct computers to perform specific tasks. In the context of machine learning, these tasks could range from data processing and analysis to the development and deployment of complex algorithms. Now, there are a plethora of programming languages out there, but two have established themselves as the go-to languages for machine learning, Python and R. Let's delve a bit deeper into why these two languages are so popular. First up is Python. Python's popularity in machine learning can be traced back to its simplicity. Its clear syntax and readability make it an excellent choice for beginners and seasoned professionals alike. But the real magic lies in Python's extensive libraries. Libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-Learn provide pre-built functionalities that streamline the process of implementing machine learning algorithms. Next, we have RR as a language that was specifically designed for statisticians and data scientists. It excels in statistical computing and graphics, which are crucial components of machine learning. Like Python, R also boasts a rich ecosystem of libraries, such as dplyr for data manipulation, ggplot2 for data visualization, and caret for machine learning. So, Python or R? The answer depends on your specific needs and your comfort level with the language. Python is generally preferred for its simplicity and versatility, while R is favored for its robust statistical capabilities. Remember, the key is to choose a language that will enable you to effectively communicate with your machine and translate your ideas into actionable algorithms. As you embark on your journey in machine learning, it's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all programming language. Each language has its strengths and weaknesses. It's about finding the one that best suits your needs and complements your skill set. Choosing the right programming language is the first step towards building an effective machine learning model. Next, we have libraries and frameworks. This is where the magic happens in the world of machine learning. Libraries and frameworks are like power tools in your coding toolbox. They simplify the coding process and make it more efficient. You can think of libraries as pre-written code snippets that perform common tasks. They save you from reinventing the wheel every time you need to perform a certain function. Frameworks, on the other hand, provide a structure or a blueprint for your code. They guide you on how to organize your code, making it more readable and maintainable. Now let's dive into some popular libraries and frameworks. First up, we have TensorFlow. Developed by the brains at Google, TensorFlow is a powerful library for creating and training machine learning models. It's particularly popular for its use in deep learning, a subset of machine learning that mimics the human brain's processing patterns. Next on the list is PyTorch. This library, developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab, is known for its flexibility and intuitive design. PyTorch is a favorite among researchers due to its dynamic computational graph, which allows for more freedom in building and adjusting models. Last, but certainly not least, is Scikit-Learn. This library is loved for its simplicity and efficiency. Scikit-Learn offers a wide array of tools for data analysis and modeling, making it a great choice for beginners and seasoned pros alike. These are just a few examples of the many libraries and frameworks out there. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice often depends on the specific needs of your project. Remember, the goal is not to learn all libraries and frameworks, but to understand their purpose and how they can aid in your machine learning journey. Mastering these tools will not only save you time, but also enhance the performance of your machine learning models. And that's the gist of libraries and frameworks in machine learning. Effective use of libraries and frameworks can save time and enhance the performance of your machine learning model. So harness their power and let them pave the way to your machine learning success. Algorithms and models form the core of machine learning. They serve as the brain power behind the tech stack, enabling machines to learn from data and make intelligent decisions. Machine learning is like a vast ocean of algorithms and models, each with its unique strengths and weaknesses. Understanding these differences is crucial because the correct algorithm can make your machine learning model perform like a superstar. 
while the wrong one can leave it struggling. So, what exactly are these algorithms? Well, they are a set of rules or instructions that a machine follows to learn from data. They're like the recipe that tells the machine how to cook up some machine learning magic. There are many types of algorithms, such as supervised learning algorithms like linear regression and logistic regression, unsupervised learning algorithms like clustering, and reinforcement learning algorithms. On the other hand, models are what we get after training an algorithm with data. They represent the learned knowledge and are used to make predictions or decisions. The model is like a student. The algorithm is the teacher and the data is the textbook. The algorithm teaches the model using the data, and after this learning process the model is ready to make predictions on new data. The beauty of machine learning is that there's an algorithm for almost every type of problem. Need to predict house prices? Try regression. Want to categorize emails as spam or not spam? Classification algorithms are your friend. Need to group customers based on their shopping behavior? Clustering is the way to go. But remember, not all algorithms are created equal. Some may work better for your specific problem than others. That's where the art of machine learning comes in. It's about understanding your problem, knowing which algorithm to use, and tweaking it to get the best performance. So to sum it up, algorithms and models are the heart and soul of machine learning. They transform raw data into valuable insights, enabling machines to learn and make intelligent decisions. The choice of algorithm can significantly impact the performance of your machine learning model. So choose wisely and let the magic of machine learning unfold. Data is the fuel for machine learning. This statement is more than just a metaphor, it's the lifeblood that powers every machine learning system. Without data, machine learning is like a car without gasoline. It's just not going to get very far. Now let's talk about the three important steps that ensure this fuel is of the highest quality. Data cleaning, data transformation, and feature selection. First up, data cleaning. This is the process of identifying and correcting errors in your data. This could mean anything from removing duplicates to filling in missing values. It's a critical step, as the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. Feeding dirty data into your machine learning model will only result in inaccurate predictions. Next, we have data transformation. This is about converting your data into a format that your machine learning algorithm can understand. It could involve normalizing numerical data, encoding categorical data, or even creating new features from existing ones. This step is key to ensuring that your algorithm can effectively learn from your data. Finally, feature selection. This is about identifying the most relevant features or attributes in your dataset. The goal is to eliminate redundant or irrelevant features that can lead to overfitting or underfitting. By focusing on the most important features, you can build a more accurate and efficient model. Remember the quality of your data determines the quality of your machine learning model, so always give the data the attention it deserves. So, that's the tech stack for machine learning. From the ground up we've explored the tools, technologies and techniques that form the foundation of machine learning. We began with programming languages where we saw the versatility of Python and the speed of C++, each catering to different needs and capabilities. Then, we delved into the world of libraries and frameworks, we saw how TensorFlow and PyTorch streamlined the process, providing us with a platform to build, train, and deploy machine learning models efficiently. These libraries offer pre-written code, saving us from the hassle of starting from scratch and enabling us to focus on the problem-solving aspect of machine learning. We also touched upon the heart of machine learning, algorithms and models. We discussed how different algorithms, from linear regression to neural networks, serve different purposes and how choosing the right model can make all the difference in the outcome of your project. Last but not least, we tackled the importance of data. We emphasized that without good, clean, and relevant data, even the best algorithms and models can fail. Therefore, data cleaning and pre-processing are vital steps in any machine learning project. Each component we've discussed plays a critical role in machine learning. They are like pieces of a puzzle, all working together to create a complete picture. So, remember, understanding and mastering each part of the tech stack is key to becoming a proficient machine learning engineer. With the right tech stack, you can build effective and efficient machine learning models. Happy learning!